It's been 18 days since Lisa Jones unexpectedly lost her mother, Janae Keys. She still has no answers as to why or how she died. We had a memorial service last week. The 58-year-old Gloucester resident died less than an hour after getting the Pfizer vaccine. At this time, they still have not um, determined a cause of death. Doctors at VCU Tappahannock Hospital, where Keyes was rushed to, told Jones her mother had flash pulmonary edema caused by anaphylaxis. But it's still unclear as to if that was her cause of death. The medical examiner told Jones they would not perform an autopsy. That was just... Um, something that ripped my heart out all over again because I when something like this happens unexpectedly you want answers you want to uh, uncover everything she said that the full autopsy would not reveal anything that would uh, associate the vaccine with her death the state health commissioner sent us this statement Quote, no full autopsy was performed on Miss Keys because it was not necessary in order to determine whether her death was caused by anaphylaxis. Toxicology tests were performed, but no results yet. Jones tells us they did do something called a tryptase test. And her tryptase levels did not indicate um, that there was an allergic response. Jones feels more tests should have been performed before releasing her mother's body. I think there's still a lot that we don't know about how the vaccine works in people who have underlying health conditions. The CDC and the Virginia Department of Health are investigating Keyes' death. I'm Chelsea Donovan for News 3.